And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next adventure with Jace. We're doing the Path of Champions. We just defeated Lulu. And so we're, you know, still kind of early on in the Path of Champions. We're about to go face Gangplank. Still got our same starting deck. We are now up to level three where we're going to be beginning our adventure with extra 50 gold, but not quite any rerolls or a starting item yet. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. So we're heading on over to Bilgewater, where Gangplank is going to be our next foe. And so now Gangplank has a mutator, as you can see, where it makes it you know more difficult. So this is a common one. So game start created jailbreak in the foe's hand. So every single opponent that we face in this adventure will have a jailbreak in their opening hand. All right, that's how it is. So let's go ahead and play. All right, here's what it looks like. Looks like a lot like the Saltwater Scourge with Gangplank as, and then uh, Swain as our boss there. Okay, so we'll get our first power. What do we got? You get a power. Okay, create a fleeting blades edge in hand around start. So normally I don't like this power very much. And I don't usually choose it very much. However, it would be very useful against specifically against Gangplank because whenever we do face Gangplank if you play the Saltwater Scourge you're very familiar with facing Gangplank that they get the uh, Powder Keg round star every single round and this can just kind of help fight Powder Kegs so that's an option otherwise we can get two armed gearheads game start not too bad or cards you draw cost one less this round we don't have any rerolls so like we, we're gonna have to choose one of these so we'll have we'll have Swain as our mid boss. Um, I guess let's get let's get the bouncing blades. Let's get a blades edge each time. We'll be able to use that and get rid of those powder kegs. So those powder kegs can really do a lot of damage. All right, jagged taskmaster. When the foe's allies attack, create one create a one cost follower in its hand. All right. Let's see. We'll change the board so we change our board music. Let's go to the new board. The Piltover Rooftops. Good call there, uh, Kim. Good call. So they're going to be creating a Jailbreak in hand. A Jailbreak is a one mana slow spell. Just summon a random one cost follower. And they're going to get more one cost followers in their hand. So they're going to have lots of one cost followers in this one. All right, love having Eager Apprentice on two. I think that's a card you want to actively look for. However, we don't really need it on round three. Um, so we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of just Thermogenic Beam because we want to find Jace and we want to find our six cost spells. We'll go ahead and keep Forge of Tomorrow, though. We may play that on round three, maybe not. <laughs> he come looking for a fight. Well, you found one. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. All right, so there's their jailbreak. Ooh, fallen feline. Okay, I'm gonna just pass instead of. So instead of trading, because we're gonna have like a blade's edge that can take care of that, we'll just pass. Play this eager apprentice. Shoot that block there. Alright, this Blade's Edge power is actually pretty nice. Get a good strike in. Alright, so now we're going to go with the Shock Blast. That thing's probably pretty scary. We'll also shoot this because it's a 1-2. Okay. And now we'll get our three spell mana back thanks to the Forge of Tomorrow. And so therefore, getting our spell mana back, we get our Blade's Edge to shoot that. And this Blade's Edge is actually kind of nice. It makes things just a little bit easier. Oh, 
Let's go and play the Sky Cruiser. It's a 4 4 elusive. That's a really good attacker. Ooh, Krusty Codger. Okay, a Forge Chief is still alive. We're at 7. Let's make that 6. Uh, we can almost kill them. So close. Sure. Wow, that's all they had? Okay, well. <laughs> so you choose death. Okay, Jagged Taskmaster down. Still at 30. <laughs> Mate says, this board is awesome. I can't stop clicking on the ship to make it move while I'm playing. Oh, I need to do that. Oh, all right, we have to get two copies of one of these cards. I don't really want any of them, to be honest. That's the thing, like, adding on, adding in cards isn't always a benefit, but you have, you know, you have to select something. I guess Ballistic Bot, like, every blade that we cast is going to be a creative card for, like, growing Ballistic Bot. Um, Arena King Kingpin with a quick attack is kind of cool, but it doesn't block. Officer Squad's just expensive. I don't really want Officer Squad too expensive, so I guess Ballistic Bot, but... Eh. <laughs> you know. Okay, so we gotta see which way we want to go. Um, oh, actually, we get to travel here first. So you can see like two spots down down the path. Oh, we don't have the best cards here. I guess a Nivea. Hmm. Yeah, these aren't like the best ones. Starless here works well with creating a Blade's Edge every round, and then also if we play like Ballistic Bot, create that, right? Like, we can get lots of spells. Like, that's kind of cool. Um, Avalanche, Anivia. Like, we can, I guess we can make a control deck, I guess. We have Leona. It's kind of meh. And Nasus. I guess Nasus can be like super big. Sand Spinner is kind of cool. Especially, we're making this Blade's Edge every round. We, we could probably slay a lot of stuff. Especially if we think about, like, Gangplank, like the final boss. If we're, like, shooting um, Powder Kegs every round, that could be slaying a whole lot of units. And so Nasus could be super big. I guess we'll try Nasus, I guess. Yeah, alright. Okay, so this is where we got a fork in the road. Um... Uh... I love looking at like these other ones to see where we're going. So this one's a, a card shop, which I don't really value the card shops early like this very much. We don't have that much gold, and you only have a finite amount of gold anyway throughout the thing. So I don't really value the card shops. I want my stuff for free. Uh, this is an exclamation point. I like the exclamation points. They're usually pretty good. And a champion item. All right, champion items real good because they give you you know another copy of a champion. So let's go this way. So, all units have plunder, grant me plus one, plus one. And so that's all units. That means our units as well as theirs have the plunder, grant me plus one, plus one. If only we could turn on plunder pretty easily for like, you know, maybe just like one mana. One mana plunder. If only there was some way to do that. I'm not sure if I should be keeping the Shock Blast. It's a six mana spell. Ooh, I like that assembly line. Yeah, you will. Or you'll at least be shocked. Maybe blasted. How can I help? Sharkling. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. That does one to us. I'm just gonna take it. I just don't want to like use one mana because we want to be able to play these things. Do we go with the Forge of Tomorrow first? Probably. So I go Forge of Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just start with this. So we can still just get like two three threes next round. And then. Uh, 
Yeah. Alright, so Plunder is also a play, not a summon. So I can't go Blade's Edge, deal one, and then summon two four fours. That's not how Plunder works. I guess we could go Shock Blast. No, let's get the three threes. Because, like, these two definitely look like a good Shock Blast material. Alright, Mystic Shot, you. Block you, block you, block you. Alright, just because you can cast the Blade's Edge doesn't mean you should. Spellman is very valuable. I guess we don't need to give anything vulnerable. Playing that to get the plunder. Jace! How are you doing, Jace? Deal seven. Seven's a lot. Alright, now let's get our plunder for Jace. We'll go quick attack. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. They're at 16. I can attack for 16. That's convenient. GG's. Let's go get our champion item. But first, I'm sure we're going to get a new champion. Usually after you defeat your second one. Maybe not. Again, I don't want these. I guess we're gonna just go stress defense, because I really just don't want like just random lame units. So these are like cards that I really don't want. At least stress defense can help out a lot, and it could help out against like a really big gangplank um, that has like overwhelm or something like that. You can just turn it into a one six. So I guess we'll take stress defense. Okay, champion item this way. Oh, I already have it at second champion. Right, I have Nasus. I already forgot about Nasus. Play, I start a free attack. Yes! Now we get that again. Cool, let's put that on the Jace. Alright, free attack on the Jace. So we can, you know, because Jace is going to be big, quick attack anyway. Oh, monkey idol. Game start, summon a monkey idol. Okay, this is going to be us taking some damage. They get a monkey idol. That's true, getting the Overwhelm on the Nasus could be game-winning. I I think I'd rather just have, like, the free attack on Nasus, though. Maybe I should have done free attack on Nasus, because then Nasus can, like, strike once, so it strikes for 10, so then levels up, and then can attack again after leveling up. Alright, Thermo, Mystic Shot, that thing, those are all perfectly fine, but I want to find Jace. So I want Champion, so send him back. Jack. Do it again. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. Line them up. Huh. The old line them up into not casting, knock them down <laughs> combo. Alright, we're going to block that. We're going to shoot the uh, monkey idol. Take a little bit more damage. I'm going to... I feel, I feel like if I challenge it, then they could just play something that... Like a spell, and that goes away. I want to actually like refill my spell mana. Get rid of you. We got both golden crush bots. If we ever cast golden crush bot, something's gone wrong. Inferior design. So 
I guess it just made more sense to do that. Then the other way around. Come on, people. Let's make tomorrow today. I'm on it. I guess having lots of spell mana ain't so bad with Ballistic Bot. Jays! Free attack! Quick attack? Challenge? Oh, yeah, we'll do quick attack. Boom. Alright, so that puts them to exactly zero. Exactly zero sounds good. Alright, sounds good. Yes, that's why we did our mulliganing, looking for the Jace. Okay, our deck's looking pretty good. I, I like all these blades edges. I'm actually pretty impressed with this power. Uh, man, no rerolls. Okay, so this is, again, just a generic body. Never taking that, okay? These are at least cheap bodies. So, okay, now you're talking about playable. Um, treasure Seeker, one mana, two, one. Summon it, you know... Summon ephemeral copy of me, so you get two treasure seekers for one mana, which means you get two waking sands in hand. Is that even good? I don't know. You know, like, are, do you want a bunch of waking sands in hand? Not really. You know, like, do we want to like fill our hand with waking sands? That could be, you know, not so good if we get other things to like draw cards later, and that can actually be a downside, honestly. So then we have sting officers. Um, they just give them more flash bomb traps. Flash Foam Traps can be useful. I'm going to just choose that. I don't really want my hand full of Waking Sands, you know? Like, that's the thing. It's just, like, playing, like, regular game. Like, obviously, in, like, a regular game, that card, you know, that would be insane. But, like, you're playing really powerful decks in with, like, all these items and stuff in here. And I just don't really want a hand full of Waking Sands. All right, we got a card shop where we can spend some gold, which we haven't yet, or an item chest. That's a tough choice. Tough choice. Let's go to the item chest. I like items. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. I guess if I would have gone to the store, I could have bought a reroll token. Okay. So, we can leave, or we can do one of these. So, we could just draw the stress defense at the start of the game. Eh. I mean, it gets it out of the deck so it doesn't take it for our draw for turn. Like, that's pretty good. I think I'll just choose the health potion, though. Just be able to heal our Nexus. A good thing about Weighted Judgment is Weighted Judgment will kill the Dreadway. The Dreadway is 6 health. Healer. We'll go and heal. And Swain. Round start, deal 1 to the enemy Nexus. Swain is a difficult champion to defeat. So we're taking one. Our Nexus is taking one every round start. Yes, we got Jace. Send those back. So round three assembly line, round four Jace. Sounds like a good thing to me. <laughs> yep, you got a Lurker. It doesn't die to a Blade's Edge. How do we keep drawing these Golden Crush bots? I don't know, but I don't like it. Yeah, we're taking some damage. Yes, it is possible to change all of your your stuff, your your emotes, your guardian, your board, your card back, all that kind of stuff. You can change all of that. Let's go quick attack. Because we're going to be attacking a couple of times. We don't it to take damage. Right before you start a game, uh, there's a, like right next to like the fight button in the very bottom right hand corner behind where my camera is, basically right next to me. Hello, right over here. Basically exactly where I am, there's a button that says load out whenever Powering you up. start a game. And so just hit that load out button, and then you good. I'll send them all in, actually. Kill one of those, get two damage on the Legion veteran. 
It's going to help me out. cast one all right and I'll show you if you just just stay here on the stream here I'll show you whenever we join our next game uh, see I'll show you here in just a second where that is oh this isn't fantastic which I would have had you last round forge of tomorrow What to do? All right, so you know they have another rav another Swain there. I'll just get this Forge of Tomorrow in. Okay, cool. You found it. Very good. Yeah, that got big. So seven damage to that thing. Healer Nexus for four. Get started. Attack for six. Is this the death you imagined? Come on! All right, can you go with the shock blast? Because the shock black blast levels up the Jace. Oh, we could have gone way of judgment to kill that, but we, you know, we have this blade's edge that's free, so we can, you know, just. Spend one extra mana, Blade's Edge, the Savage Reckoner. Oh, uh, I guess I can't block that now, though. Hmm. My plan felt better in my head right before this. Alright, taking some damage. Ow, ow. So, if my opponent... You know, if they were, if the AI was smart, what they would have done is they would have responded to my Blade's Edge by Ravenous flocking their own unit, which would have leveled up Swain, and then Swain would have dealt three damage to all of these things also. But they didn't do that. All right, cool. Eager Apprentice costs zero, so we get to play that first. That again. All right, get some keywords. Gate is a go. Scout, yes. Life steal. And you got scout also. You lack discipline. All right. Well, that worked out really well. Powering up. That's almost lethal. Down to one, I'm back to 30. 29. <laughs> and then we can just Blade's Edge. For the win. Technically, okay, this is the better play, I guess. Shock Blast here, because then if they respond with something, because that's slow speed, they respond with something, we can respond with Blade's Edge. I guess I could have waited Judgment first and then healed my Nexus to get to 30. But oh well. <laughs> We're losing the emo game, I know. I didn't change my emotes. I actually kind of like it, the, the CPU emoting and stuff. It's kind of cool. But I, I kind of understand people getting annoyed by it. Uh, you, you know, you can always mute the CPU. Last Breath Rally. See, now we talking. Lucky Finds. They can get more keywords and Last Breath Rally. I like it. But what's this Fizz? So this Fizz, because, you know, it's usually, usually you know, we get a champion. And Fizz is a super cheap champion. We're also going to be creating the Blades Edges that are, like, great with Fizz. This is tough. Blades Edge or Bruiser? Again, this is just like a, you know, very whatever card. This Last Breath Rally is awesome. Lucky Finds are awesome. I kind of want to take that. Oh, this is so tough. So this can help against elusives, because we're not very good against elusives. What are we playing against? Okay, we're going to have Gangplank. 
Let's just go with the Bruiser. Rallying pretty good. Lucky Find's pretty good. Okay. Heading on over to a reward. We got a new power. No rerolls. We can get an Emperor's Dies. Eh. Summon an ally, give it plus one, plus one this round. Eh. Or grant things Fury. Looks like we're going to be going with Fury. Get a good, good little keyword on everything. Not my favorite power, but it's not, not a bad one. Alright, we got Epic, Spells Chest, or a Gold Chest. Gold Chests are like my least favorite. They like give you more gold. We, we, we really don't need more gold. So what do we got over here? Okay, yeah, this is a pretty easy one. Just if one of our foe's allies strikes for 5 plus damage, grant it plus 2 plus 2. Whatevs. So if they have really big stuff, their big stuff goes gets bigger. No big deal. Okay. Oops. Sorry, Nasus. I'm gonna send you back. I actually like Thermogenic Beam and Mystic Shot in this one because you know Glory Seekers have very little health. And I like the Sting Officer, again, if they're going to have Glory Seekers with very little health. Oh! The Jailbreak hit the best, the biggest possible thing. The 2-4. Ouch. Ouch. So much about that very little health. What are my thoughts on the Forge? I think the Forge of Tomorrow is a really good card because it's effectively zero mana once you cast that spell. I I really like it. I think it's a very good, powerful card. I don't want to take five, but... I kind of don't... Hmm. Don't really have other stuff to, to be doing. It's either block here or no blocks. Like those are those are my two options. Block here or no block. I think we got no block. On foot. All right, more traps. Five mana next round. But yeah, I think this forge tomorrow. I've been I've been really impressed with it. Just like playing against it and ranked and everything, it's been performing better than I expected it to. So you're gonna start a free attack, and then okay, the other thing's the pickaxe, right? Okay. So I'm gonna be playing the sand spinner. So, so I'll have my sand spinner block the 6-5. It's like those are gonna block there. And then I guess we make that vulnerable. Cause then we block here with that, we block there, and we take three. I'm taking 10 damage this match. Free attack. Let's grow with that fury. Victory requires a sharp blade. Oh, I guess they can just attack. They can't really block with that thing anyway. Oh, I guess I walked into Whirling Death. Okay, so I walked into that. I didn't need to. Haunt the weak. Sorry, Ballistic Bot. You were cool, though. Let's get to work. So 
So we need one more six cost spell so we can level up Jay so we can get some more keywords. Uh, eight, fourteen, there are twenty-five. Yeah. Powering up. I was trying to think if we want to play the Sky Cruiser before attacking. Or open attack. Looks like I should have played the Sky Cruiser. We would have just killed this thing anyway. So I didn't play the Eager Apprentice right away last time because we could have drawn the six mana spell that was put the two uh, three threes in play. All right, didn't get to level up Jace to look for life steal. That's okay. That's okay. Gonna mark today down as a success. Yeah, we'll still mark that down as a success for sure. Plus one, plus one for Jace. Let's go. Let's keep on buffing up our champion. Alright, what's our epic spell? Manifest a card from my regions for Relentless Pursuit? That's spicy. Uh, when you cast a spell, reduce my cost by one. So, like, every single Blade's Edge would just re keep reducing this. But Ricochet is not that great of a card. Um... I kind of want to just take this Relentless Pursuit, let my Jace attack again, and then also manifest a card. That sounds pretty spicy. Let's try that. Okay, the item shop, finally. I have 650 gold. We can finally purchase a reroll token. And then what else we got? When I'm summoned, create a fleeting copy of me in hand. Eh. Regen. Eh. Not very good. We're... I'm going to buy this regen on the Eager Apprentice just so we have... Wow, that took 180? I'm buying that so that uh, you know we get another copy of Eager Apprentice in the deck. I think that's how that works. I want another one. Do I want another Shock Blast? I don't know. Maybe. Let's... You know, Healing Nexus is always good. So yeah, we'll, we'll get a Shock Blast Healed Nexus. Okay. So we're going to have Card Shop over here, which we still have lots of gold. Or Spells Chest over here. I kind of like the Spells Chest. But let's see. Round Start Deal 2 to any random unit. Or Round Start Deal 1 to all units. Okay. This one's pretty tough, honestly. Like, Because it you know, mows down your own units, your units, pretty quickly. And then theirs get the plus 0, plus 1. That one's pretty tough. I think let's, let's take our... Let's head on over to Riptide Rex. Let's... Let's do that fight. <laughs> so this is where you're, you know, where we're starting to get a challenge where you kind of have to look at those also and see which one can you defeat a little easier. Nice. Pants says I'm having so much fun with Jace. Really enjoying the six plus spell playstyle. Glad to hear it. So am I. All right. So Sky Cruiser always send back, and we'll send Mystic Shot back also. So round. Round start, deal two to any unit. So actually, I should have set the Forge Chief back also. Yeah. Because I don't want to play it, because round start is going to kill the Pool Shark now. Yeah, I should have probably sent that back. Okay. So we can take... Two. Yeah, I don't want to waste the blade's edge. So we take two, then that thing just dies. Alright, six mana spell. I'm glad we kept that one drop, though, that we could block. Um, pass? 50-50 chance it kills their thing, or it just does some damage to mine? Yeah. That's too bad. The ocean charts our course. Go get him, Jace. Quick attack fury. Step aside. Down to fifteen. Ocean 
Hopefully it hits theirs. No, <laughs> not Jay's. Sting officer. But the problem with all their stuff dying is, you know, round start. Our stuff will die. One of our things will die. Alright, good. So at least they blocked Jace, so Jace gets the. Alright, cool. Now that's a good chance for them to get something to die. No! Not my. Jace got the Fury, though, so that's what I was gonna say, so he could stay alive. So my regular Shock Blast heals my Nexus, but Jace's Champion Spell Shock Blast does not heal my Nexus. Wow, Nasus is pretty big. Um, I walk through the ages. Let's play Nasus. Pablo's been down, but his knee out. Uh, pass. Because Nasus is a nine-nine, we're gonna blades edge something. Like that, and then now it'll be a ten-ten. Now I'll strike as a 10 10. So we take two. A win streak. The win never stops. All right, so this is something that you can do in Path of Champions. Is we're about to face Gangplank. And I don't have very much health. We need more health. So we're going to not kill my opponent as quickly. And we are going to be healing our Nexus. So let's like play this. Here we, go. we also have this Weighted Judgment that can heal for four. Oh, these are Jace's Shock Blast, not, not good Shock Blast. So I'm not attacking. Captures. Okay. So that's pretty sweet, right? Because now we can play a new Jace. Very good, your quick attack. Oh! Somebody blocked. Thank you. I don't want to kill you. Sure. You're going to make it vulnerable? Alright, now we'll do four to that, or deal seven to that, heal for four. So now we got two Jace in play. Does this one, this one doesn't have like quick attack or anything anymore, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, it still does. Okay, never mind. It still does have the quick attack. Okay, good. All right, so now we're going to do the acceleration gate. And so now we triple acceleration gate. And I'm just hoping to hit life steal with something, right? So then we can get our other seven health back. So we're going to triple, triple this up. Life steal. Life steal. Life steal. The bot. Oh, that does too. Well, that's too. Wait, did you have life steal? No, you had regen. All right, so eight does the job. That that gets me back to. Um. Yeah, they're super dead. That gets me back to 30. I could, you know, make a bit, make it more with the augment by playing these, but we don't need to waste any more time. Gonna mark today down as a success. And that that is true. Obvious says if I would have played another six cost spell first, like if I would have played the uh, champion shock blast first, then then I would have leveled up Jace, and then whenever I played the other the healing shock blast, we would have doubled it. I would have doubled the heal. Yes, I could have gone that way to also heal a little bit better. Our assembly line when cast, because we want to be casting assembly lines when cast, grant the top ally in your deck plus six plus six. Eager Apprentice is one that's really important for us to find, so that one's good. Or we could just always have the Relentless Pursuit in our hand. Ooh. 
Tough choices. We can also use our reroll here. Because these are okay, but they're not, like, absolutely amazing. I mean, I guess giving something plus six plus six is probably pretty good. And I, th I guess we probably want more assembly lines. Because that is, like, what we want to do on round three all the time. We do always want this eager apprentice. Alright, I'm gonna I'll choose assembly line. Spell chest. You can have deny. Time trick. That draws two. Or one mana quicksand. The good thing about one mana quicksand is you know, gangplank super scary, gang because of the overwhelm and lots of damage. This that can get rid of the overwhelm on the gangplank. So like that's not that bad because of that. Get rid of a lot of damage. Um, so I'll take that. Alright, travel to the healer. We do not need to heal. And here we go. Time to fight Gangplank. The rerolls do not last between runs. No, they're only for the run that we bought them in. So I, I had one reroll still. We're on the final boss. That reroll is just gone for good. Right? That one. Can't use that anymore because this is the final boss. Alright, so their other power is they will get a, a powder keg every you know round start. They get a powder keg, and then once they get to 20 or less health, they get a dreadway for free. Alright, send stuff back. Okay, got our round three assembly line. Stress defense to help against Gangplank. Ah, Sky Cruiser, worst card in the deck. One of the worst. Oh! They hit Krusty Codger again! Oh, <laughs> I guess it's just Jailbreak e equals Krusty Codger, I guess. Um. I'm kind of worried, not going to lie, because they usually have Make It Rain. Like, they start with Make It Rain, so if I if I play this, they can just Make It Rain. Man, so do I, do I have to just play Ballistic Bot and Blade's Edge? Man, I, I am actually worried about Make It Rain now it comes to it. Witness perfection, meatbags. Okay. Fury challenge. Alright, so now this round, now we can assembly line. Now they don't have as many powder kegs. But we at least we have that one extra mana now that we can still blades edge. If it's like a make a rain that's gonna do a lot of damage. All right, so good play in there. Because, wow, that would have been a brutal Mega Rain. Okay. 4, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2. Just trade, trade, trade. Trade, trade, trade. Maybe no trades? Trade with those. Keep my ballistic bot around. Jeez. Wow. We got the plus six plus six on a Jays? Man, I feel like we could even do Challenger. Even though, you know, I usually like the quick attack, but I think we can just do Challenger. Because we got Fury, it'll grow. Oh. How is it always Krusty Codger? But so I, uh, okay, so I kept a Ballistic Bot right there alive so we could challenge Powder Keg and um, basically do exactly what we just did right there. I'll just save the spell mana. Challenge Powder Keg with the Fury, grow the bot. I need to be able to give Jace Overwhelm somehow. Um. Oh, 
Man, these blaze edges are saving us. They're saving us, I tell ya. Oh, yeah, their gangplanks always have challenger, don't they? Alright. Take that. Gangplank just has one health. And we got Blade's Edge. Bruiser! Alright, I'm doing it. Bruiser. Okay. You challenge... No, actually, you challenge there. You challenge... Here? No, you challenge there. Okay. Troy won't do any good. Darn. I was hoping they were going to block the bruiser. And then I could rally with the bruiser dying. It's already got challenger, fearsome, spell shield? Spell shield, cool. Man, they have so much health. Got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Great, we're running into heat issues. What you got? Rise, metal brethren. Safety disengaged. War, you dogs! There she is. This is going to be a 10 5 challenger. Okay, okay. You got me? Okay. We're going to quicksand you. Block Step you. Aside. Block you. Your funeral. And so I take no damage. We get a lucky find and rally. What do we got here? It's already got quick attack and spell shield. Looks like it's got tough now. Oh, it didn't have quick attack. Oh, well, I guess it could show us quick attack. Anyway, we'll get a 4-4. Four, four. Let's go ahead and ignition. That puts him down to 4. Okay. I can deal with 4. I can make it, you know, have the Blade's Edge do 2 damage, but... Maybe I should have. I just wanted to keep it available to... Be able to respond, but I guess I didn't need to because we have all these missing shots. So looks like that's gonna be it. They're down to three. And we got lots of stuff. Let's get started. They're <laughs> deal ten and then fourteen. See, I'm telling you, these get ridiculous with all these uh, you know, double it up and all that kind of stuff. Still just took eight right there. Okay. Now that's what I call progress. Gangplank down. I guess I could have double mystic shot at them and then not taken as much or you know had more health for my final rating. Could have had eight more health. Oh, we got a new relic item! So uh, that can go on any champion that can give them regeneration. So if we want a champion to have regeneration, yeah, see, I, I could add 22 health, which is probably like a B instead of a C. Okay, there we go. Saltwater Scourge completed. Two runs down. Let's take a look at our Jace. So now, since we're at level 4, we're going to have two re-rolls at the beginning of our adventures. So that will help us out find like the different powers that we want and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and unlock. Oh, and we get the random starting item. So one of our random cards will have a random common item. Very good. And man, we got a lot of reputation rank. And now we got enough for a common relic slot. So now our champion you see over here can hold a relic. 
So, and it can only hold a common. It's only powerful enough to hold a common. So we could use either of these. So we can either have, our Jaces can either have Spell Shield, because I earned the Spell Shield one by beating Gangplank with um, Caitlyn earlier. And now we beat Gangplank with uh, Jace, and we got this one. So every time you beat Gangplank with a different champion, you, you earn these different common relics. And then the next ones, Ezreal and Zed, will give you rare relics. Uh, and then, you know, once, once you continue to level up your champion, then you get to start using a rare relic. So now we can either have Jace just have Reputation all the time, which that's pretty sweet with Challenger, right? So then you don't really have to use the Quick Attack to have the Jace survive because you can use Challenger and Regen. Or we can protect from spells with the Spell Shield. So we'll have to see, you know, depending on who we're, you know, uh, which one that we're facing, uh, whoever we're facing, whatever path we're going down, we can uh, adapt and configure accordingly. Okay, so there's our um, there's our second adventure with Jace. Looks like Ezreal's going to be up next, and Ezreal probably means probably that spell shield, right? Ezreal's going to be playing lots of like damage spells back in Piltover and Zon. Spell shield seems like what we're where we're going to want to be with them. All right, but anyway, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you're you know how you're liking these Path of Champion videos and just. Uh, the path of champions in general who are your favorites to play you know how you're doing with all of them have you you know beat all of them yet or anything like that you know let us know in the comment section but uh, thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you for the next one